All right, so I want to show you guys the logic of my setup. So I have my wire that goes to my DSP. It comes out here, goes to my laptop. And now I just need to get my mic and plug it in. I'll show you how all this works. So now I take my mic and uh, plug it in back here. This goes up front. I get it, and you can put it um, under the edge of the headrest, between the seat and the headrest. Um, I like to put mine on top of the headrest and just kind of balance it up there because it's closer to where my ear is. You guys can see that, right? So now that I have the Tahoe set up, mic is secure in place. I use one of these USB to mini uh, USB-C converters then I'm able to plug it into my little uh, laptop. Now this is a Windows laptop. We we'll start I think so. Alright, now to provide a connection, I gotta have the Tahoe turned on to the DSP launch. For some reason, it takes a minute. I have to click on it two or three times sometimes. So, up here in the top left hand corner, you've got your crossovers. That's for channel one. When you click it to channel two, it changes. So whatever channel you have selected down here is what's going to be showing up here. And uh, so for instance, for channel one, I have, which is my A pillar left, A pillar, tweeter and mid combo. I had set for 400 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Channel two is the right variant of the same speaker. And then channel three and four are my doors, which are uh, the recoil mids, if I can get it to the guys on. And I got them set to 100 to 6,000. Those things sound really good up really high uh, in the frequency range. They're kind of surprising. And then my woofer uh, on this particular tune, I have it set to the bottom out at 20 hertz up to 100 hertz. On my, um, my crank it up tune I have it set uh, a much smaller bandwidth but this is my low volume SQ chill out tune so I can kind of fudge everything into slightly uncomfortable territory because I don't intend to give this a full plate of beans just to look a handful not a full plate you know if you look down here I don't know how good you guys are able to see this but down here this little car shows what driver is selected it shows, you can't really see it, but it shows all the drivers as you click on them. And it shows that this is, I have it set up as just a front stage. So when you get done setting up your, your um, crossovers, where you want them, we're gonna run in and do the auto-tune feature. So I'm gonna go over here to advanced and hit auto calibration. And that brings up this screen. It gives you two different curves you can use target one and target two. And this is what it's gonna to try to tune to, target one or target two. Um, target two is a much more rolled off highs and target one is more of a V, and I prefer the V. So then you gotta go down here and select what channels you want it to work on. You can just tell it to tune two channels or one channel. But you gotta make sure you select this because if you don't, it's just going to tune channel one and it's gonna stop. By default, that's selected. 
Down here you have your options, EQ, delay, and phase. You can tell it to do all three or any one of the three. Well, I'm gonna do everything on this tune. Although I've already done a lot of this stuff manually, I'm gonna run it all and save this as an auto tune and as one of my presets. That way I can go in there and pull that up and I can work on it, tweak it to my liking and then save it to wherever I want to. But I want to save a full auto-tune as one of my 10 different presets that I can save. So we've got our curve selected. We've got all the channels turned on. We have all three options turned on for EQ, delay, and phase. All we have to do at this point is hit start, and then it says please manually set the frequency, right? We've already done that, and then we hit OK. We hit OK, it goes. Now she's run. So to see without all the jumbled mess, we'll turn off some channels. We'll just look at one channel at a time. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta hit. Let's see. Where's it at? There it goes. My screen wasn't reacting very well. Okay. So this is just, well, that's a horrible channel to pick. Let me pick one of a brighter color. That work. That's channel three. That is one of the doors. See this red line or not? There's a red line. That's your target curve. Now, the solid line here, the solid one, the one that goes up high, that is what it's actually reading from the speaker. The dotted line down below it is what it's doing to the EQ to fix that. So as you can see, at around 600 hertz there's a bump so it's actually taking away some of that and 600 hertz is reducing that some the same thing across the board it's making adjustments to fix all of that that does a pretty good job and each channel is like that if we go to channel four it'll be different because even though it's the same driver it's located in a different spot so it's going to have different Get done with your tune and uh, you can't really, you don't really want to change anything at this point. Then you hit save data and that will pop up. That will pop up this thing down here. It tells you it's saved. All right. I can't hardly see the screen, so I'm having trouble. Make sure we've done that because I can't see the screen. Then you could X out of this part. Right there. And then you see the little saving bar. And then you go up to scene. You hit save as default scene. And then you choose or create a scene, which is a tune that you want to save it as. In this case, I'm going to save it as auto, which is what I've got labeled auto now. Now we hit the save button. And then it allows me to put in a letter. My name. I'm gonna type in auto. So I deleted the other one accidentally. And then it'll it'll put it in auto. And once that happens, you're good. You hit OK and exit. And now your auto tune is complete. So now you can test listen and you can also tweet. So Keys on the ivory. I'll play through the night. Fingers dance gently on the soft piano keys. Silent emotions, they flutter and tease. A melody unfolds as memories collide. In the hush of the room, painting a high with each note. A story, a 